Okay, now hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I'm Kevin from Kevin Kevin MC and this is me with this Helios 44 slash 2 which is a 00, zero front series number. This thing is a 00, zero, I mean N00 zero, zero, 37591 and it is essentially this Gums lens which has like this rattly bit over here, yeah? this aperture bit. And this focus is pretty heavy, obviously, being a Russian lens with changed, what you call it, with somebody having changed the crease. This has a fake, not original screw, which I'm not really gonna care too much about, I think, yeah, maybe. That's if it doesn't bother me at least. Then the preset aperture works pretty much well, and the back mount bottles, see? The rear optic has this little smudge, which I think might also be some small dent, maybe on the optic. Not sure, like a small, like you hit it and it just like cracked a little bit, maybe, yeah. Then it has the fungi, which is seen as like this fog inside the lens, which is all not good. Okay, yeah? So, today, let me talk to you about the Helios 44.2. Today, this thing, I have the 44.2, which is not the normal 44M or the 44M4, M5, M6 that I usually have. This is the more vintage version. So it's a Zebra 44.2 export model, because this thing says made in USSR, although you can hardly read this thing, because it's so, like, I don't know what the heck's wrong with this pin. It is gonna say made in USSR here, right here, see? Made in USSR. I'm not even sure if you can actually see it because it's impossible to see. Okay, so now let's clean this thing up obviously because this is from somewhere I'm not very sure about. And as you know, there's a pandemic right now, yeah? So not really gonna take any chance with something this disgusting. Look at this thing, it's like this yellow stuff everywhere. So let's extend the barrel. Okay, and let's wipe this thing down. Let's spray some of this cleaning liquid on this thing. Let's see how dirty this thing is. Not the dirtiest I've seen, but it is pretty dirty nonetheless. Next, let's wipe this front optic a bit. The sides of this thing has this white stuff on it. Which is like super odd and disgusting. The outside is actually pretty clean. Nothing black. Which is always a good sign, better than having black stuff on this thing. The rear ribs are also pretty clean, I think. Not very black. The rear is pretty black. The optic is pretty black. The optic's worse than the lens itself, yeah. Pretty odd. Okay. Now, because this thing's so disgusting, I'm gonna have to clean this lens up, yeah. Today I'm filming with the A6400 with the what you call this thing with the uh, um 18-105 by Sony so let's go and I found out that this thing does not focus that close so I mean at 18mm so if I want to focus close I have to like zoom into 35mm I think or like 30 something mil before I can actually see it work so let's first take the front out hopefully it is as straightforward as it looks yeah And it is. See? Helios are so easy to open. Like, they're like one of the most easy lenses to like start up and open. If you're a beginner, I highly suggest these Helios because they're just so easy to use. I mean, so easy to surface. Then, once you do that, you wanna pull this ring up. This thing is a gums, so it has this like ringy thingy. Next, you have this, which is gonna fall down my tissue. After this bit, we have the spacer, yeah? That's how dirty this thing is. Not very, actually. After the optic, we have this spacer. Which then separates this thing from the next optic, which is a bit deeper down, yeah? Right there, see? And now you're getting full access to the aperture plates. 
see? Just like that. Nice. The insides are pretty disgusting actually to be honest here. Worse than some other lenses I had. This thing's the 8 plate version, not the 13 plate version, so don't get them mixed up essentially. Yeah? And let me take the back optic part. To take the back out, I think it's easier to like make the back go out by like what you call this thing. By making it focus to infinity. Although this thing, see the lines are right here, yeah? You probably can't see it because it's not visible if you're using this camera. Because of the perspective and the fact that the paint's all chipped off. So it's not like color stuff like that on it. So let me just point to you the arrow, yeah? This is the arrow. This is focus to infinity. And this is infinity. So, see? Infinity and arrow. See? That is quite far away. away. Then if you focus it like to the minimum focus distance, it focuses up to here. Which is, I'm not sure why the heck that thing is, but it's just that way. So just embrace it, I think. Yeah. Let's open this thing up. Um, then let's open the back up. So, oh yeah, now let's see if I can actually clean the front up. Because it has this like yellow stuff. Like, let me zoom in there if I can. Let's focus if I can. See, it's this yellow stuff on this bit right there. Wait. Is this in focus? Ah, oh, shit. There you go, see? You can see this like yellow stuff up there. That's disgusting. So, let's zoom back out and let me take some acetone and. Wait. So, acetone and this used cotton swab from my Electro 35 GX conversion which is not done so I'm just going over there yeah. okay let's see how much this thing will affect the lens itself I mean the ring it's not doing anything man it's like the ring is permanently yellow for some reason, like this dust color. Really odd to be honest, yeah? Not something you see very often, but that's that, so let's leave it right here, yeah? Let's push all this stuff away. So this thing is a Biogon design, based on the size Biogon 58mm f2. Now let's just this guy open. No matter how broken these Helioses are, they're always gonna come apart. Which is a miracle essentially, yeah? Like, seeing that this Yashika took me like one whole day to take apart and this is like all apart from your faces right now, yeah? Um, let's see if I can wipe this thing off. And the dirt is not on the right thing, yeah? It's pretty clean to this, real optic, to be honest. Except for that, like white, one black smudge. Let me see if I can actually show you, yeah? So... That little smudge right there, let's see. Shit. Come on. Focus. Dang it. How many mils is this thing at? Let's see. Oh yeah, let's make it go like 28 mil. You can see it's like black small smudge in the middle there. That's why I'm gonna take apart. I mean take out. So I'm gonna have to take the lens group apart and continue, yeah? So let's continue. Um to do this you want is open up this group like on all the losses and just unscrew this fucking thing there you go it's unscrewed now let's this ring was a bit hard if we're talking about Helios as well they're usually pretty easy to take apart for some reason and here we go this thing's part 
having something that's easy to take apart will mean that you have less of a chance to like jump your tool and scrape the object which is always a good thing yeah okay let's take this optic out do not flip this thing you will get your optics slightly screwed up if you do then this thing should not fall out always test it a few times before you actually think that it does not fall out yeah. okay this optic has the black smudge let's see if I can clean this thing it's sort of cleaned up but not fully cleaned up for some reason yeah. let's see okay this thing seems like it's thirsty maybe yeah let's try and see if I can add some acetone and hopefully take that thing out and also hopefully not eat the whole things it's sort of going away yeah but not going away that easily so let's put some acetone on the other side of this thing just like that yeah then let's put this thing over here and next, let's put no 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 okay. really be there by for a while and it's not going away either. yeah I don't think that other bastard's going away so that's pretty much a shame but let's so now let's blow it up here so I have this blower which is gonna be blowing the dust off. Put it on this way. This went in like this, yeah. The previous technician left some fingerprints inside the lens. That's a really good technician, man. I think these two have small indentations in the optic, which means that somehow these two are not properly aligned. I suspect that's the case, but let's see. Oh, I forgot to test the optic here. Let's push it over here and blow on it. Blow on this thing again. So I've done all of this without like flipping the optic around yeah, essentially. So I want you to note that. Because if you flip an optic, that's bad. Especially on this biotar design. The rear optic seems flat but it's not flat. So you might get the sides like wrong in this thing yeah. So I think it's little, it's missing a space or anything, yeah, to be honest. I can't say for sure. So these two optical bits are surely touching each other inside the lens. Which is not the best, but seeing that I can probably have very fun from this thing, I'm gonna roll with that, yeah. So let's just screw this thing back in and continue the front optical group. So next, let us see the front optical group. This thing has a ton of fun gear. Let me clean this thing out, yeah? Maybe I'll need some more. So let's use this thing. That's pretty clean. Now let's do the other side, yeah? 
Then let's wipe this thing down. Shit, come on. Let's wipe you. Then. There's a bubble in this optic, and bubbles I think mean that the optic's good because vintage optics have bubbles, and someone said that those things are like some sign of using some odd material, I think, yeah, which is not available nowadays, and that's considered to be a good thing. My Jupiter 9, the Red P1, also had some bubbles, so yeah, I think that is a good thing. That thing performed pretty good in anything I throw at it, yeah. So now this is clean. Clean this optic. Now it's... Okay. That's how I usually do it, yeah, so don't blame me for like Harshly treating Helios 44s. Push that thing in. Then. That's a for optic. This thing's oily as hell, man. No wonder a person says it's fucking up. <laughs> Let's take a new tissue. This is too disgusting. So, as I found out, Russian optics usually don't even fog. Most of them just scratch because they have like metal lens caps and that's why they're mostly like scratched up but they don't usually fog. Not like Pentax lenses, Canon lenses and stuff like that, yeah? So, they're mostly safe to buy. Even if they're pretty much scratched to hell and bad. Wait, let's take this guy out. I'm gonna blow this lens again, so let's wipe this guy down. Let's see how clean it is. It's not very clean, but that may be my finger from the other side, yeah? So let's blow on this thing, blow on this thing. And if you could bear that BT on this Helios, well, I don't think you should be watching because these things are absolute tanks. And if you want a Helios, you can buy any rubbish Helios as long as they don't have any scratches and you'll have a pristine one. Like, literally, I've bought a lot of them, and 99% of the time it's like that. Like, 9 of 10. Are. That's a pretty good indicator on how well built these lenses are. Like, Japan can make good lenses that look good, have good coatings and stuff like that. The Soviet Union can make good enough lenses that withstand time and can be easily serviced. And that's way better, I think, than having a good lens that can get its coating eaten by fungi. Um, can get its helicoid stuck like hell. Whereas with this thing, you can probably boil it or something like that, yeah? And have the helicoid just free up. So that's a good thing about these Russian lenses that I love. Like that Jupiter 9, I soaked that thing in like WD-40 for a few days so that I could take the front optical block off. And this is now clean. Clean as day. I mean not clean as day because it's still got the scratches but not bad man. See? Seeing that I bought this thing as like the cheapest Helios 40, I mean 44 I've ever bought. I mean 44 2, because I've never bought 44 2 before. And this is pretty good. Aside from the fact that the focusing indicator is still not right. And this thing's wobbly. And the mount's wobbly. I'm not sure what the heck that thing's wrong. I mean, what the heck's wrong with this mount. And also, yeah, everything else that's wrong with it. So let's see what I can do with this. I think I'm gonna plate this thing with some cool something I've here. If it doesn't cost that much, I'm gonna like 
ring up some companies and like see if they can want to complete this thing because that'd be cool like a golden helios 44 too so yeah thank you for watching hope you like this thing and end this video and goodbye see you next time